What's up guys and welcome back to Planet Zoo the Cheyenne Mountain Exhibit series. So what we're doing is we are building, trying to rebuild, the real Cheyenne Mountain Zoo located here in Colorado Springs, Colorado. It is the only zoo to sit on the side of a mountain, so it has that really neat record. It might also have the highest elevation. I'm not 100% sure on that, though. Anyways, guys, in the last three videos, we showed you the main entrance here. We shot over here. We showed you the Thunder God gift shop. And in the last video, we also did some building on the garden work here. And I do have to apologize for that video, guys. I don't know what happened. Somewhere between my editing software and YouTube, ah, I don't know. I, I don't know what happened. The speed build, uh, half of the speed build got um, taken down to be just a regular speed. And the music also disappeared on half of the speed build as well. I don't know what happened. I don't. Please accept my apologies for that. Uh, hopefully you still enjoyed the video. Uh, I, I'm really kind of upset about that. It, it did not turn out the way I wanted it to. And to be honest, I'm a little too lazy to go back and re-record that. So, what have we done since? Well, we built our first habitat. Oh yeah. What we've got here, we have giraffes, we've got zebra, and we've got warthog. Now guys, I put all three together because all three of these animals can coexist in the same habitat within the game. Um, and it was also a logistical thing as well. You see, in the real zoo, right in here, they have the red-eared uh, hog and we don't have red-eared hog in here so I figured warthogs would be just fine <clears throat> and instead of creating a different habitat just for the warthogs I figured I'd just put them in with the giraffe and then I got to thinking you know the zebras would be right up in here and instead of putting those in a separate habitat I threw them in here as well because quite frankly this habitat is huge it is way more than enough space for our giraffe and our warthog alone. And it's still quite large for all three species. Uh, what I do like the way I did this is, look at that, we can get right up and close with the giraffe just like we can in the real Cheyenne Mountain Zoo. Uh, what this is right here, guys, this is actually like a feeding station at the real zoo. It's like... um. I don't know, it's like a wood, African-styled hut. And, uh, yeah, because we don't have feeding stations in the game, I just made it vendors in a bathroom. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and decorate that out probably off-camera, to be honest with you guys. Oh, over here we've got the actual hard shelter, or the zebra house, as it would be called in real life. And what I did here, we can just throw it in here. So what I've got here, just like in real life, whoa, the guests can come on through here, kind of like in this U shape. Uh, so I kind of replicated that. This, um, this isn't anything like what the inside really looks like, but I tried to keep you know, j just to make it work, um, in the real zoo, Jesus, that roof is low. In the real zoo, they've got pens, like isolation chambers, uh, that split off. There's like four or five of them that go around the semicircle. And that's for like giraffes that, uh, have just given birth. Maybe they're sick. Um, uh, whatever the case may be, it it's to let the animals have their own space really uh so i didn't put that in here because the game mechanics won't allow that to happen uh without manually moving animals and i i'm not doing that <laughs> so we come out over here guys um obviously i need to decorate this out i need to do some trim work make it look all prettified and whatnot 
So we're going to be doing that a little bit later in this video. Hopefully this video won't go too long. One of the things that I still need to do is something that a lot of people forget about doing in sandbox mode is upgrading the food quality of the animals in the habitat. So how do we do that? We select the habitat. That's how we do that. Then we come over here to animals. As we see here, we got the common warthog already selected. Food grade one quality. We can go ahead and boost that up to number three there. Then we're going to come over here. We're going to do the same thing to zebra. And the same thing to our giraffe. That'll just make their food a whole lot better. It'll keep them happier. It'll keep them healthier. Uh, that's what we really, really want, right? So we're going to do that there, just like that. And, uh, yeah, guys, I think um, I just need to do a lot of work in this area. I think a lot of it is going to be off camera. I need to do quite a bit of rock work, some gardening work. I need to build a, a sign here. Uh, I got to do a whole lot of stuff, a lot of garden work in here. But, um, yeah, th there's a lot, a lot of work to do in this area. I'm not going to bring you guys along for that journey because, boy, we would be about 40 videos in just doing this habitat. So, <laughs> I'm going to do that off camera. However, I'm going to go ahead and attempt to do another speed build with uh, making this giraffe house look better than what it already does so take a good look now guys because it's going to change quite dramatically oh yeah let's get on with it
All right, guys. So as you can see, we did a little bit of decorating here. We trimmed it out, made it look like an actual building instead of just a big blob of bricks. Now it doesn't look as good as it probably could, but I want to keep it realistic as well as bring in that little fantasy bit. The uh, real zoo isn't nearly decorated as, or uh, the real giraffe house isn't nearly as decorated as this is. So, I mean, we definitely went above and beyond what it looks like in order to get that mix of realism and put in our own little diversity with our artistic freedom here. So, that's what we did. We're going to stick with it. I like the way it came out. I think it definitely serves its purpose and it gives justice to the zoo. I think it, it, it lends credit to the zoo very, very well. Um, maybe somebody who works at the zoo could, uh, tell me what they think. I don't know <laughs> if they even see this, but as you can see, guys, I also started messing around with some African props. I am going to keep these in here in some way, shape or form. I don't know if I'm going to put them where they are currently. I'm actually thinking of building like a little table here to put pottery on. I think that would be kind of neat. Um, but yeah, that's going to be it for today, guys. Uh, like I said, I'm going to continue on. I'm going to do a whole lot of stuff off camera. And when I come back, I will give you an update on how that came out. Show you what I did and how I did it. And we'll keep going from there. So as always, guys, be safe, be cool, and have fun. We'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching.